Hello everybody, my name is Isaiah and today we're going to be looking at John Christopher Weaver. So John Christopher Weaver is a funny character, um, pretty, um, he looks like he's a boring sort of guy but just some of his mannerisms and some of the things he says are pretty classical. Um, big thank you to Joey Jeremiah. Um, the, the content he's been bringing out is just magnificent, you're a fucking legend dude. Keep it up. Like I appreciate it. I love all the um, Predator videos you bring out. Because half of them, I've seen like 10 second clips on it to catch a Predator episode. But you're bringing out the full 10 minute interviews. So it's actually great. Keep it up. But back to John. He's, he's a funny guy. Um, we'll just get it started. But I can't remember where this sting operation occurred, but it's uh, there's so many great predators were caught in this. Actually, you know what? Every sting operation had its great predators. None, none as good as Bowling Green, but you know this was a great place too. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how are you? <laughs> See just before. <laughs> Just before that, his eyes were like, he, he could hear someone walking in and he was like, oh shit, he's looking up and around. Just look at his eyes here. Like right here. He's like, oh. he's like, is someone walking? Is someone coming? Hey, how are you? Hi. Hey. He's like, hi. Oh shit. <laughs> you know, I just love when Chris Hansen comes in. There's so many good videos on YouTube that show just that part. It's just a hits list. Um, of Chris Hansen walking in and, and the predators shitting themselves and saying, fuck, like, it's so good. It's the best thing in the world. Like it just makes you so happy. It's just seeing a predator get caught. It's great. Like who can not like seeing that? It's just beautiful. Yeah, just to, he's like, bro, I got nothing. It's fucking America. Like, I don't know what state it is. I'm not from America, but I just know like people have guns, so you want to be careful. I know in Australia here, you get in a fight, right, on the street or in like someone's backyard. Like, okay, if you a few meters away, they won't be able to stab you with a knife. But in America, if you get in a fight, someone will just pull out a gun and fucking blast you, man. <laughs> You're fucked. So, you know, I know... I don't understand why people always get so offended. Um, like, if they got a knife, Chris can stay back. I, you, if someone's got a knife, you still want to say, like, oh, take your hands out. But someone's got a gun, like, fuck. Like, <laughs> just pull back, seriously. Any Joe Blow can get a gun in America nearly. So you want to be careful. Actually, I don't know. Like, I just that's just what I'm told in Australia. In Australia, we're told sort of that it's a joke in America. People can, can get a gun whenever they want. Um, I've seen documentaries where some, bowling for Columbine with Michael Moore, he goes into a bank and gets an account, signs up for a bank account and they give him a free gun in the bank. Like, I know it's not that lenient. I know there's certain restrictions to getting guns, but that's just what we're told here in Australia. <laughs> he puts him back in. <laughs> he's cold, Chris. Chris, he's cold. He needs to um, warm up his hands. <laughs> he puts him straight back in. <laughs> Can you imagine? He probably does have a gun in there. It looks like there might be something. You're fucking sick. Oh, no, I was just sitting on there. What, uh, what's going on? Not a whole lot. <laughs> what's with all these predators? This is like the fifth predator. This is not a whole lot. <laughs> it's fucked. Oh, because I thought I thought only Lawn said that, but a lot of them actually say it. He's a weird looking guy, actually. He's I don't know. There's something Seinfeldish about him, Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know what it is. He's just funny. Like he's not trying to be funny. He's getting caught in a sting, but he's just. A funny character. I can tell he's a smart ass. He's he says smart comments, but he, he just looks like a funny guy. Like I wouldn't want to be friends with him. But he looks good. What are you doing? I was talking to some girl on the internet. Really? She asked me to come over. <laughs> he's like, oh, she asked me to come over. It's her fault. Oh, this he's so arrogant. Just the little like flicks in the eye, like the just how he looks. Is that a mullet? He's got a mullet, this guy. He's funny. 
I was talking to some girl on the internet. Really? She asked me to come over. So he's like, oh, yeah, she asked me to come, yeah. He's, I don't, like, oh, he's, he's a weird guy. I don't know. He's, maybe I wouldn't want to be friends with him, but he looks funny. <laughs> yeah, and with that girl's name. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> he can't remember. Mate, like I said about all these predators, they're in the car. I, can't, I don't know what her name is. I can't remember. I've only seen this video like once. But I swear to God, these predators would have been like reciting the name of the um the decoy or the girl or boy they were going to see. They would have been in the car saying, Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. Oh, Kayla, Kayla, Kayla. And then they get there like, oh, I don't remember her name. Of course you remember her name. Like, stop lying. I can't remember off the top of my head. Seriously. Seriously. Sure. See, just those little things he says, they're funny. He's a funny guy. <laughs> Seriously. And what's your name? My name? Yeah. Yeah. Kayla. 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 So his eyes widen there. So I think that's what he lies. So his eyes, I don't know, when he lies, he seems to give an intense stare. Look. And what's your name? My name? Yeah. Kevin. 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 Kevin, what's your last name? Smith. <laughs> I love Kevin Smith. When I heard that, I was just like, yes, Kevin Smith. You know, Kevin Smith, he made like Clerks, um, obviously, Jane Silent Bob, Strike Back, Morats. Um, he's fucking hilarious. And the funny thing about Kevin Smith, like the name, it's obviously, his name's John Christopher Weaver. John, his name is. Coming up with that name, it's funny because, um, you know, John Smith, the name John Smith, it's such a fake name. And he's just changed John to Kevin. So, like, Kevin Smith. Smith, the last name Smith is, like, the the um, most fakest name you can come... If you want to, like... It's a joke coming up with that name. Like, when I fill out forms at a bank or something, or if I go... I filled out a form the other day at the bank. That's why I'm saying that. There's an example of the form that I filmed out next to it. And I'm like, oh, okay. I just looked at it quickly. And the example name is, like, John Smith. Then, like, it's, like, a fake address. Like, it's just the most fake name. And he's kept the Smith, but he's added Kevin at the start. I mean, you could, you can just use a friend's name but change the first name. Like, I suggest you've got a friend, for example, Damien Hardwick. Just change Damien to Tony and Tony Hardwick. You can come up with, a, actually, a decent name in the space of two seconds. You don't have to resort to just Smith. James, Tom, like, oh, it's, I don't get it. Like, even Lorne, I think Amanda James is a fake name. Why do they use such, e like, it's just fake. The name just sounds so fake. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. And uh, what's your... Uh... I thought, he doesn't say it, but I thought he was going to say here, and uh, what's your real name? <laughs> like, okay, your name, yep, Kevin Smith, okay, and... Uh, What's your real name now? Tell me your real name. And I think you might have been like, shit. He's asking me now what my real name is. Your log. My screen name? Screen name. Oh. Screen name. Like, I think it's he made a funny face there too. But I think, um, I thought he said, what's your lawful name? Just for a second. I'm like, shit, he does say it. But no, nah, that would have been so good. Chris being such a little Chris. He should have said that, like, oh, yeah, because he knows their name. So why doesn't he just say it? But I think he wants to get a few more lies out of them and let them lie more about their address and all this and then use it against them in court saying, oh, look, they're a liar. Or use it against them when they get interrogated saying, you lied here. Why should we believe you now? Uh, Sharky. 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 And how old are you, Kevin? 25. 25, okay. Oh, they... Yeah, the girl you were talking to. Did she say she was? Some she's 18. That is the biggest lie. Like, oh my God. If you've watched this interview just up till now, you can see how he acts and when he talks, like he's a bit stressed. And like when he said, oh, 18, she's 18. He says it so quickly. He looks at him intensely. So he's doing that intense stare. He says it really quickly. Like he, he just, everything. I'm not saying like, let's just say you have no idea this is a sting. You've watched, just him say that, you can tell he's lying. Like, he's the worst liar I've ever seen. Just listen to him say it. It's such a lie. Like, I just know it's a lie. She said she was. 
Sonish is 18. It looks like such a lie. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I'm not a... I'm not like a... Um, oh, I don't know what they're called, but I'm not one of those people who reads people or has to, like, tell if someone lies. Or I'm not good at reading people, and I can tell that's a lie. Like, oh, it's so funny. I was told I need to. <laughs> oh, you see that? The expressions he makes, he's so funny. Like, I want to be friends with him, but I don't because he's a pedo and I've got, like, little brothers and sisters. So I don't know. I don't really want to be friends with him, but I do just to, like, get this funny chatter. And, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's getting nervous. <laughs> Look at those little sparkle in his eye there. He's like, oh, shit. Fuck, look at that bung eye. Like, those eyes look so <coughs> out of whack. <coughs> oh, I want to see that reaction again. When he's like, he's like, he has a laugh because he's he's the sort of guy that he can say things funny and hopefully th this whole issue might wash over if he says something funny and Chris might say, oh, okay, you're, you're a funny guy. But he, he tries to say that joke. He's like, huh, like, and he's like, oh shit, he's not having any of that. Chris, he's not. And then he's like, sir. Uh -huh. Oh shit, sir. Sir. <laughs> he's like, he's not taking anything. Like, he he knows now, like, he's fucked, I think. Like, he's getting told off for saying, dude, like, this is an important person, whoever I'm talking to right now. And yeah, I just think he's, he's really worried now. Like he was worried when he came in and got caught, but now he's like, shit, all right, something's going down. He's got the chat log and he knows he's given him the wrong name now. So he's really like saying, shit, should I have given him the wrong name? But I don't know. You know, the problem, Kevin, is that I've got the transcript. I've taken a look at the transcript and I have the transcript right in front of me. And like, that's a problem too. He doesn't know it's, the TV show, but someone just came out and gave him like another piece of paper, like another piece of the chat log, I'm guessing. So he's like, fuck, there's more people. Like this must be some sort of operation. Like when you see people coming out and giving the other guy pieces of paper, you know, you're fucked. Like, you know, this is some sort of operation. <laughs> Fucking John. John Weaver. What is this guy doing with his life? Seriously. Look how small his nose is. Looks so little, like a little nose. His lips look so. This guy's face looks so like. If you just like put your hand over the top half of his, his face, this lower half below here looks so like like a mannequin or something. Look at that. That looks like a mannequin. Fuck. He's looking around. He's like, oh, shit. Have I got... I reckon he was looking back then saying, can I make it to the door? <laughs> Do you know how many... It's like... It's, it's like two meters away. Or, I don't know. Like, it's like two meters away. Three meters away. He's like, can I get out there before Chris draws a gun and just, like, shoots me? He's like, I surely I could make it out there. He's got the chat log in his hands. I don't know. Chris might be reading the chat log. He's like, if I quickly jump off the seat and run, like, maybe I can get out of here. <laughs> But I think he knows, like, it's an operation. Like, they'd be at the front. Like, you'd have to think that surely he's not just going to be able to run away and get away. He knows he's in trouble, I think. Like, I think he might know they know who he is too. So, in that split second when he looked back at the door, I think he said, you know what? I'm not a hero. I'm not <laughs> I'm not that sort of person. I might just sit down and take it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, nah. He's like, he's like, oh, nah, I better not. <laughs> Look, he's like, yeah. He's like, wait. He's like, yeah, the door's there. Nah, better not. Look, the door. Nah, better not. <laughs> he's, he's, you know, I do this thing within seven minutes. Yeah. You're talking about. He doesn't want to be there. He's like, did I? Fuck. He just, he knows he's in trouble and he can't do anything. He just has to sit there and take it. And no one wants to sit there and take it. Like, you just want to get out of there. It's the, it would be the worst thing. Whenever I watch these people, I'm a very, um, like, I, 
I don't know, is it a word, empathetic? Yeah, I'm a very empathetic person. I'll be sitting there and I feel like I'm in the show. I feel like I've just been caught sometimes. It's sometimes. And I'm like, shit, this, this show really stresses me out. And I can imagine right now, like, I'd want to get the fuck out of there. I would not want to be in that room any longer. As any predator would want to be. You just want to be back home in your bed. But I'm sorry. Sorry, John. You got to sit there and take it. Take it like a fucking man. And that's what I love. A four-leaf clover right there, I think. Fucking is meant to be good luck. It looks like bad luck. Positions for sex. <laughs> sit, sit there and taking it. Well, you prefer to lay on your back with your legs spread as I. When you go on, it gets pretty graphic. As I there. blank away. Yeah. What was your plan? See, I was fidgeting there and he was trying to grab his head. He's just so agitated. He wants to get out of there and he's like grabbing his head. He doesn't know what to do. Just horny at the time. Yeah. Just horny at the time. See, like, he, he's, it's true. He was just horny. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like the, a lot of these guys, not an, like a normal person won't go out and do something like this, but I feel like if you're not, if you, like he wasn't horny, well, obviously if he wasn't horny at the time, like he, if he had wanked and came like a minute before the decoy was in the room and they started chatting, he might not have been here. So it's true. Like he was horny at the time. He's here now because he's horny. Um, also because he's a fucking pedo, but <laughs> he's telling the truth there. And uh, your name is really not Kevin Smith, is it? He's like, oh, fuck, he knows. It's just the downward spiral at this point. He's like, what's he going to say? So his name's John, John Christopher Weaver. What's he going to say? So why should you give me a real name? It's Chris. Chris. He still lies. It's like John Christopher Weaver. So Christopher is his middle name. That's not his name, is it? No, it's not. So he's lied again. And Chris Hansen must be like, how's he lying? Like, how could he be lying? Like, he's telling, he could say like, oh no, I'm getting my middle name. Like, that's still my name. But no, it's not your name. Your name, he's asking for your first name. Smart ass. Your last name? Chris Weaver. So, oh, he'd see when he said that, it really hurt him. Like, that's my identity. Like, that's me. And now he knows who I am. So, he knows now this person, whoever it is, and it's Chris Hansen has associated this act with him, with that last name, and probably be able to track him down. So he's like, shit. That's the worst thing with, like, identifying yourself. You're like, fuck, now they know it's actually me. Like, you can go out in a mask and, like, reveal yourself to people and, like, go walk around nude in the streets, but you're wearing a mask. I mean, it's still embarrassing, but, like, they can't associate it with you. But as soon as you show your face and, like, people know who you are, like, obviously in the area, um, that's when, like, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that, but fuck, no one wants to, like, admit, say their name and identify themselves in association with the crime, like, no one wants to do that, and he's had to do it now. Weaver. Weaver. And what do you do for a living, Chris? I an he's still looking at the door he wants to go he's an electrician but fuck he wants to go so bad he's looking back at the door he's like it's only two meters like I could get there I could make it but I don't think I should do it yeah now here the girl tells you that she now I don't know he's heard something here I don't know if someone's coming out he's really scared here look how scared he's petrified so, I don't know, has someone come out, has a camera come out, has he spotted a camera? Because how did they film this? Like, do they have a hidden lens or a hidden camera? Like, surely you'd be able to see a hidden camera. Like, I mean, if you're sitting in the room for a while, I'm sure you might be able to see it. I don't know. But he spotted something here. And I heard a creak, so I think someone else might have come in the room. She's 13 and asks... I don't know what that was. Like, he got so scared. Look, someone comes in, I think. Someone must come and give him another chat log piece of paper. The girl tells you that she's 13. I don't know. And asks, is that okay? You say, yeah, is 25 okay? She says, no. 
Do you often chat with girls who say they're 13? <laughs> Who's going to say yes? Like, it's a pointless question. I mean, you have to ask it, obviously. But it's just pointless because who's going to say, yeah, yeah, I chat to girls all the time. You, you can't say that. Um, yeah, there's, there's no real point of saying it. I'll take it easy and do what you want. Only to- with any of them. What? He asked, so he asked him, have you ever chatted 30 year old girls? And he's like, no, I haven't chatted to any of them before. Like it's the answer was sort of I don't know if it was like a fraudulent slip or something, but it sounded like there's he's identified a group of people that he's got already that he talks to. So let's just say there's like a group of thirteen year olds, maybe three or four of them, okay? And he's asked, Oh, do you ever talk to thirteen year old girls? He's like, No, no, I don't ever talk to any of them. Like you don't really oh that response sounds a bit odd. Like it sounds like Chris knows about the 13 year olds and he's like, do you talk to them? As in the group, these 13 year olds, these three girls. And he's like, no, no, I never talked to them. Like you don't say that. that the way he responded, it wasn't as if um, Chris was talking about a general sense of 13 year olds. He, he, he responded to it as if Chris was saying, do you speak to these 13 year old girls? As in like, yeah, see these girls over here. Do you speak to them? He's like, no, no, I never speak to them. He's, he, the way he answered that was as, as if like he was talking about a specific group of girls. And I feel like he has spoken to girls before just with that response. Just, I know, just, just bear with me. I'm trying to explain something here. Just listen again to how he responds to that question. Go back a bit. I've never chatted with any of them. I don't know. It just like he should say, no, I never speak to 13 year old girls. No, I never speak to them. But I've never, I never speak to any of them. The way he says it, it just sounds like there's a group of girls he does speak to, and he's trying to hide that fact that he speaks to them. Um, oh, it's so hard to explain. I don't know how else to put it. I think I've made sense of what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Just listen to it again. Listen to the question. Do you often chat with girls who say they're thirteen? Do you often chat with girls who say they're 13? It's just a general question. You say, no, I never speak to. You could actually even say, no, I never speak to them. But the way he responds, it's just like he does, okay? And he's saying, no, no, I never speak to them. Like, it's another, it's just like he's a bad liar again. Like, it's like he's lying. And it's so bad that you actually believe the opposite of what he's saying. I don't know. It's weird. Actually, I've never chatted with any of them. I think you know what I'm talking about. He just sounds like he he does speak to them. We'll keep going. I'll take it easy and do what you want, only to please. <laughs> What's with these eye movements? Like look at this fast twitch here. I'll take it easy and do <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What you want, only to please you. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> There's the tongue. <laughs> JPW time. He's a good dog. Why well, did I make the? I made a mistake and thank God nothing's come of it. So he's already better than Lorne. Like he's admitted. At least he's admitting he's done something wrong. Like I hate those predators. I. It's funny. I prefer to watch a predator who tries to um, lie and say no. She was eighteen. Well, he did lie at the start, but he's sort of, he hasn't admitted to lying, but he's just, it feels like he's about to admit he's lying. Like, I made a mistake. He's not going with that 18 story. There are predators who just go on and on about, I wanted to be a mentor or I was told 18, I was told 18, I was told 18. No, the phone call, I was told 18. You know, those predators who, who say like they had another account or they made a private phone call and said they were 18. And like, the decoy, the whole system is like under, well, not Chris Hansen's control, but under perverted justice's control. Like if they did say 18, they'd have it on record. Like who are you trying to fool? It's like saying that, you know what that's like. So when you say to someone, no, they told me I was 18 in another chat. It's like being in an elevator and 
it's just two people, you and one other person. So there's two people in the elevator, you and someone else, and you fart. So the other person knows it's you because the other person didn't fart, you farted. So you can't say to them, oh no, you farted because, or you can't, no, you can't say to the person in the elevator, you didn't fart because the other person didn't. So if the other person didn't fart, then that just means you farted. But if it's, if there's a group of people, like 10 people, you can say, oh, I didn't fart. Then they're like, okay, like we can't, I don't know whether to trust you or not. But when there's two people in the elevator, you can't lie to the other person about you not farting because you obviously did if there's only two people and that they didn't do it. It's the same thing. He's like, he's like predators who say, no, 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 I was told 18. Well, perverted justice didn't have another account that said 18. So you're obviously lying. Like they control the whole operation. <laughs> you're just lying. It's great. I love saying that. And apologize for anything. You ask, have you had sex yet? She says, um, once. How was it? It hurt a little he's bit. Like, oh, Chris Hansen's just digging in the, um, like he's been stabbed and Chris Hansen's twisting it. With each, every quote, it's just twisting it. Um, like I would hate to just be told, like if I had a sexually charged conversation with an adult, I would hate to it to be read out back to me. But this is a child, like, you'd feel even worse. And you know you're in trouble, so it feels even worse too. I don't know how people get through this. Like, this would be, this is torture. I'd rather be tortured. I'd rather be, um, like, uh, like in Game of Thrones, Theon Greyjoy. I'd rather be tortured like him than go through this. This is worse, in my opinion. Fuck this. I feel so bad for you, John, but I don't at the same time. Like, you deserve it. So it's I'm conflicted whether I like people being tortured. Actually, I do. Fuck you, predators, pricks. But it was kind of nice. You asked about the position. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. What's your name? My name. Yeah. My name's Chris. As well. <laughs> I love that. He thinks he's joking. I don't know why. Like he's that sort of guy. He's got friends who play those sort of jokes, I think, that um, they make, I don't know, jokes like that. So he thinks it's a joke at this point. Why? Like, I don't know. I wouldn't think it was a joke. Like, I'm a funny sort of guy. I, I see through humour, but I don't think... You'd have to be an idiot to think Chris would be making a joke at this point. Chris Hansen, that is. Seriously? <laughs> he's like, oh, it's shit. That's the second time he's, like, tried to create some humor between himself and Chris Hansen and it's failed. The first time when he was like, I was told when he's like, dude, he's like, oh, oh shit. Oh, sir. And now this time he's like, Chris, huh? Yeah. Wait, seriously? But imagine that would be so funny if Chris just did that, like with Lorne Armstrong. Like, can you imagine like, um, well, Lorne, my name's Lorne. And like, Lorne's like, seriously? Like with that sort of name, you'd be like, oh, okay. Or with like, like, even James Rutherford, like, if you say to James, my name's James, like, James isn't going to say, oh, seriously? Like, in your head, you'd think, oh, he's got the same name as me, but it's a common name. Chris is a common name. James is a common name. Like, you wouldn't you wouldn't say that out loud, but in your head, you'd think, like, oh, they've got the same name as me. That's funny. But you don't say it out loud. The, the reason he said that, I think he's just nervous. Um, you just need to say it, I think. But it's so funny, like. He thinks Chris is playing jokes. I would love that if Chris did that. Like, who's what's another predator? Like Jeff Stacy. Like, he's like, oh, what's your name, Jeff? Okay. Then the interview goes on. Then he's like, well, Jeff, my name's Jeff. And it's like, my name's Jeff. <laughs> like, he, Jeff. Like, I don't think Jeff would say, what? Seriously? What do you mean, seriously, Jeff Stacy? It's a question. Is your name Jeff? <laughs> like I, I could don't think you'd say that, but. Yeah, my name's Chris. Seriously, he just gets so shut down because his name's actually Chris. <laughs> and... Oh, what's that head of he's got a nice head of hair on him there. So he like has that back. Um, if he shaved the sides and kept that, uh, kept it gelled back like that, it would look like a nice haircut. But he, he was admitting something there and the cameras came out. 
So he was halfway through saying, so I'm sorry, I was horny. See that nice head of hair there? He's got nice hair. Like if he shaved those sides, he'd have a pretty, um, oh, well, this is 06, 07. But today, in today, like that sort of haircut where you shave the sides and gel it back at the top is pretty fashionable. But you go back here, he, he's just about to admit that he's horny. Look, I was just horny. Right there. Look, I was just horny. Maybe if the cameras didn't come out, he would have talked a bit more, like said some more things. But as soon as the cameras came, he left. He didn't, was, he didn't even ask if he could leave. He just left. Um, he didn't care what anyone said. He just wanted to get out of there. There's something you need to know before you go. <laughs> and he's out of there straight out. That. I love that freaking... I love that curtain. It's just such a pain in the ass for them to get around and come through. They've got to see through it. I just love it. It's something more annoying for them, but... Jeez, how do you come back from that? Seriously, that's the end. Like, I don't know how you can um, come back from that. All these predators, look at them all. They're all scumbags. Chuck Harding. This is a sad fucking story, but this is the best. Like, I agree, King of Predators. And look, this is all Joey Jeremiah, Julian, Doctor Julian Bashir, Joey, 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 Quill. Oh, fucking love you. You're a legend, mate. But that was him. That was Chris, John Chris Weaver. Um, pretty standard sort of predator again. He, he was a bit funny. He had a bit of humor to him. Um, you got to admire that. But um, that's him. So until next time, boys, see you later.